Hi everybody, hope you're well. So this video I'm going to be talking a little bit more about identifying the top three genetic skills of your horse in order to blup it, okay? Now, I have mentioned this before when I've done my videos on blupping and bolting, but we're going to do something a little bit different today. So the first thing I want to say is the way I've showed you in the past is to go to your horse and then click on the genetics tab and then look through these six numbers, okay? Now on this particular occasion, the six highest numbers here are stamina at four, eight, seven, dressage at three, eight, four, and jumping at three, four, eight, okay? So that would indicate to me that this horse's top three genetic skills are stamina, dressage, and jumping, and therefore gallop, trot, and speed have absolutely no effect on the blop value of this horse, which is this number here, okay? So that is what that tells me. But there's another way to do this, okay? So if we go up here and we look at the training, there's something quite obvious here. If we look here, there's these little arrows beside each of these, okay? There's one beside stamina, but there isn't beside speed. There's one beside dressage, but there's not any beside gallop or trot. There is one beside jumping, okay? So this is actually pointing out to you in the training which of the top three genetic skills very very useful okay if you're maybe not just too sure if you're still not sure having looked at the genetics tab now the only problem is if i go to rides which obviously most of you know will be a part of bluffing and bolding it's not giving me any indication there that dressage and jumping it's there's no arrows telling me that those are two important ones and the same is true with mountain as well there's there's nothing there indicating to me that the that stamina is important okay so it's lacking in the rides. There's no indication there, okay? But it is in the training. It's telling me in the training that those are the ones I want to focus on. I want to focus on stamina, dressage, and jump. Now I'm going to go to a slightly older horse here. Now this horse, okay, one thing you might immediately notice is it only has an arrow beside dressage and jumping, but its stamina is complete. Now this horse, I know, is also highest in stamina, dressage, and jumping. And its three lowest skills are the same as that other horse that I showed you, gallop, trot, and speed. Okay, so those three have absolutely no effect. So what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to train this horse in dressage, okay? And I'm going to show you what happens to that little arrow once this bar is filled. So I'm going to give it some extra feed. I'm going to have to age it once just to bring it on a wee bit. So let's see how much more we need to do. That should do it. Okay, so this horse right now has an arrow beside dressage and jumping. Whenever I click train it, you can see now that this is completed, this training for this one is completed, the arrow is gone. Okay, so this is one of the ways that you can kind of help yourself um, if you are maybe not too sure and you're starting off with some horses. Um, but it can be a wee bit confusing whenever you've fully done all of the training. For example, I'm going to show you this horse. Here, and all the training's done. So there's no indication there as to which is its top three genetic skills. But as I said, if you go down to the genetics tab and you have a closer look here, you'll be able to do that. On this occasion, we can identify that gallop and speed and dressage at the top ones on this one, which means that stamina, trot and jumping have absolutely no effect on getting that block value. So that is something I wanted to show you guys because I think it's pretty handy. It might help some of you guys a little bit with your training. Um, and obviously, maybe even if you wanted to like train your horse up to a certain amount but not complete the training and then use that to help you guide yourself through the forest rides and through the mountain rides and even with the competitions as well. Because obviously when you go into competitions, now obviously if you hover over the competition, it'll tell you what skills are in there. And obviously if you click on the competition, it'll tell you what skills you'll gain from this competition, but it's not explicitly telling you which ones your horse needs. So maybe you want to just train your horse up to a certain amount with all of the three training, that is the three top genetic skills, but not complete it until you've done all the rides and the competitions that you need to do and then fill it up. And that will probably help just give you a little bit of a push in the right direction, maybe if you're finding it a wee bit difficult. But anyway guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope you had a lovely day. Bye!